sports. Japan is headed <laughs> to the World Baseball uh, Classic Final. Yeah, that team defeated Mexico 6-5 to five last night in a thrilling come-from-behind victory. And so tonight, Japan will face off against the United States in Miami. Philadelphia Philly star shortstop Trey Turner has been leading the U.S. team. He's had three home runs in the team's last two games. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Joining us now is Will Middlebrooks. He's an MLB analyst for CBS Sports HQ and former third baseman for the Boston Red Sox. All right. Um, I got to ask. I know it's an obvious question. I know the answer is mainly because of Edwin Ramirez's from Puerto Rico's Team Rubio's injury. But what else has played into Japan's success this year? Yeah, well, Japan, <laughs> wow, they are a powerhouse. And I mean, they are they are absolutely loaded. And we don't get to see a lot of these players as often over here in America. Yeah. But they're loaded from, with talent at the top of their lineup. Obviously, Shohei Otani is a name we all know. Masataka Yoshida, who is newly signed with the Boston Red Sox, we will learn right. to know him as well. It came up huge last night. And on the pitching side, Shohei as well. Guess, I know. <laughs> could have never guessed that. <laughs> you, you Darvish, who's been in the MLB for 10-plus years. And then 21-year-old Phenom. Roki Sasaki, this guy is unbelievable. Been really fun to watch. 100 mile per hour fastball, multiple pitches. Uh, but I think Japan's ability to fu be fundamentally perfect uh, is what some, uh, separates them from the pack. Defensively, they make all the routine plays. Mm -hmm. They just don't make mental mistakes. They play small ball. They, they bunt a lot. Things we don't see in Major League Baseball. But yet they're still capable of the dramatic, as we saw last night. Yeah, I like uh, fundamentally perfect. Right? If I was Japan, I would get that printed up on yeah. all of my team jerseys. And it makes sense across the board in Japan <laughs> in many different fields, for sure. Well, um, I am really interested in this, uh, the personal saga or the dramatic interpersonal relations um, when we have Shohei Otani and Mike Trout, both players, teammates um, for the Angels. They're facing off against each other in this finals game. Who do you think is going to get bragging rights? And what can you tell us about those two um, teammates now playing opposite each other? Yeah, this is really the matchup that the, the baseball world has been begging for. I mean, these are these are not one of or two of. It, it is the two best players on planet Earth, right? Mike Trout, Shohei Otani, number one, number two, debatably sw swap them back and forth, but Shohei notably being able to both pitch and hit and be a superstar at both. Uh, but these are two powerhouse teams with, with massive viewing markets as well. So that's great for the game of baseball in itself. I personally am going with Team USA in this one. Call it bias, which you, what I, I could understand that. Uh, but it just seems, I, I can't bet against USA's offense. One through nine in their lineup, they are loaded with the best players in the world. And honestly, after the tournament that Trey Turner has had up until this point, I wouldn't be surprised if they added his name to the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> okay, I, I want to move on to, to another topic that's been important. And look, I mean, I, I'm born and raised in Puerto Rico. Half of my family was in Miami, traveled from the island to make these games. Of course, the WBC is incredibly popular, but there have been some major injuries, including, of course, uh, Mets closer Edwin Diaz uh, Such from a bit. Team Rubio, which was just heartbreaking. We were yeah. all crying. Uh, he's out for the whole season, which hasn't even started uh, for the Mets and then Jose Altuve as well who will miss some time with a broken thumb from the Astros it's unclear exactly how much the players are insured although we know that you know a, a great part of what they make is but this the teams are at a loss is there a concern about having the tournament just so close to the start of the season uh yeah I mean it's it's very unfortunate that these players get hurt and uh, you know it's a it's a very small percentage of these players got hurt and, and injuries happen look they they happen in spring training as well my career actually ended from a leg injury in 2018 Ooh. when i was with the philadelphia phillies the second game of spring training all right the w but the wbc is going nowhere it's here to yeah. stay um especially after the insane viewer numbers we've seen the last couple of weeks Last night, Japan versus Mexico, 93.6% of TVs in Japan tuned into the game at some wow. point. Now, that was 8 a.m. in Japan, so a lot of people were at home, maybe not at work yet. Uh, but that and tonight, is it's looking like it's going to be the most watched baseball game of all time. So that's been so hmm. beneficial into growing the game uh, and, and really getting the whole world excited for baseball right yeah. before the season starts here in America. And if you want to know how important this tournament is, uh, to the players, listen to the interviews with the world's biggest superstars, Mike Trout, Mookie Betts, Paul Goldschmidt, all these, yeah. they're so passionate about representing their countries, representing their heritage, 
uh, and playing for the name on the front of their jerseys. Yes. It's been really fun to watch. Absolutely, especially when it's not a full country, uh, but you get to celebrate as such. Will Middlebrooks, thank you. Thank you, guys.